hey guys welcome back to my channel easy motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this creative looping animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin but with the help of simple tips and tricks and if you want to learn more about logo animation and other stuff then don't forget to check out my udemy courses links are available in the description and if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition. We will call it as Main Animation. Width is 1920, height is 180, frame rate is 30, duration is 30 second long, and background color is white. I mean black color, and simply hit OK. Then go to Choose Grid and Guide option, and simply hit on Titles Effection. Then I'm going to select my Ellipse Tool. I don't want any stroke for now, so I'll delete the stroke. And over here, I'm going to choose white color for this fill and by holding shift i am going to create this kind of ellipse now select this ellipse press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically okay now let's select this ellipse hit enter and let's call it as main and let's change the color of this one to yellow so we can easily recognize this now select this and hit ctrl d select both the layers press p for position create one keyframe zoom in a little bit go to around one second we will select this main and we will move this over here like this then we will select this one and then we will move this over here it should touch this line over here and it should touch this line over here then go to around two second copy the first and um, positions of both the ellipse so we will get something like this now out of this i'm going to select this main and i'll hit ctrl d hit enter and let's call it as stroke like this and hit u and we will delete all these keyframes like this now go in middle of this now select the stroke let's go to and delete this fill we don't need that and we are going to choose red color for the stroke and stroke width just for now let's choose 150 pixels press s and increase the size let's reduce the size let's first of all make it zero completely and then increase the size and this line should be at the center of this ellipse so if you select this and select this so you can see this is my anchor point so press ctrl r and bring one line to this anchor point so we can select this stroke and we can adjust the size properly at the center not completely at the center but nearly at the center like this okay now we don't need this ruler so let's delete this and now we are going to increase the stroke size until unless it's going to cover the entire ellipse like this okay so this is going to be cover the ellipse like this now select this and go inside the stroke first of all let's change the color of this one to red go to the contents ellipse path unlink the size and create one keyframe also go to the stroke and create one keyframe on stroke width hit u now like this go over here and create another keyframe over here and at this point what i'm going to do i'm going to increase the stroke size somewhere around like this that it should touch this portion and at this point uh, i'm going to decrease the size of it let's say one but only on y-axis like this okay so if you see this now we will get something like this then over here uh, let's go and move this over here like this so if you see this now first i'll get this animation then i'll get this animation then now i'm going to select this and move this over here and initially the size should be zero or let's say one over here like this so if i see this now i'll get something like this so if you see this animation now first we will get this and then we will get this okay so this is the first one <coughs> now i am going to select this ellipse and change the color of this one to white so if i see this now i am gonna get something like this now let's select this main and hit ctrl d bring this at the top and change the color of this one to different color 
hit U and we will delete all the keyframes so we don't need that then somewhere around at this point over here I'll bring this layer over here press S initially make scale 0 create one keyframe go over here let's make the scale 100 and change the color of this one to black so if you see this animation now we will get something like this okay like this now at this point i want this main animation should stop working so by holding alt and close square bracket i'll trim this so i'll get something like this then i'm going to take few frames over here then i'll select this stroke and i'll create one keyframe at stroke width go few frame forward and i'm going to increase the stroke size to cover this completely so if you see this now animation we will get this and this completely like this also at this point i think especially at this point we should increase the stroke width a little bit so if you see we will get proper stuff over here and it see like this hit ctrl c ctrl v so now if you see this first we'll get this and then this now select all the keyframes and we will hit f9 then make sure to uh, link this again select this and hit f9 go to the graph editor right click and make sure that you are in edit speed graph select all of this graph by holding shift move one handle over here and move one handle over here so we will get something like this if you want then you can select those keyframes and you can move them a little bit over here yeah now this is my last portion over here so simply select all of this and press ctrl shift c and let's call it as one let's go inside this press ctrl y to create one solid background and let's bring this backward and make sure that it should be in black color and at this point i'll press ctrl shift d to split this layer and delete it select this layer hit ctrl d simply move this over here with the help of open bracket go to the effect and presets panel and search for tint effect to apply and swap this color and go over here and hit n so now if you see this animation you will get this animation in the form of loop you can go inside this you can simply select all of them and enable their motion blur also like this and if you see over here if you think that you are getting glitch or something over here then you can reduce the strokes <coughs> stroke size like 0.5 or something 